Hello and welcome to Invision News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Mayor Dayashankar Diwari has ordered formation of a five-member committee to probe the working style of agencies collecting waste from house to house. The committee will be headed by the ruling party leader in NMC, Avinash Thakre. The members of the committee are Health Committee Chairman Sanjay Mahajan, Corporate and Nitin Satone, Additional Municipal Commissioner Sanjay Nipane, and Deputy Commissioner Waste Management Dr. Pradeep Dasarwar. The committee has been empowered to investigate facts behind action taken against garbage collecting agencies and their working style. In the general body meeting of NMC held on May 28, the leader of opposition, Tana Jivan, had tabled adjournment motion on the working of EG Enviro and PVG. The agencies assigned job of collecting waste from house to house. Corporators had charged both agencies of negligence in their assigned work as per the terms and conditions of the contract. With the number of single-day COVID-19 positive cases decreasing in Nagpur, the deaths due to the novel coronavirus also have come down. On Wednesday, the district registered five deaths due to COVID-19 and 81 fresh cases in the last day. Total 322 persons became free from the coronavirus in the district. The cumulative tally of corona-positive cases has risen in 476,088 patients. The total number of COVID-19 deaths in the district has reached to 8,978. With the fresh updates, the active cases in the district has come down very significantly. The recovery rate of Nagpur has went up to the vicinity of 97.50%. The district and NMC administration is appealing to people to not to be complacent even though cases are reducing rapidly. Especially small, smaller children need to be taken care of with possibility of a third wave of coronavirus infection looming large. In a major action, the anti-narcotic cell nabbed drug peddler and seized 98 kg of ganja worth Rs 15 lakhs in a two separate incident recently. Cops have also confiscated two cars in which the accused were transporting ganja. The collective value of the seized ganja and care is Rs 27 lakhs. In the first incident, the anti-narcotic cell received intelligence that two men named Sunil Malvi and Sohel Khan were transporting ganja in a swift desire car from Chindwara following which cops swung into action and nabbed them. 35 kg ganja worth of 12.50 lakhs and the car was seized. In another incident, the sleuths app anti-narcotic sale got information that a man named Ajit Singh was transporting ganja in a Chevrolet car, following which cops seized the narcotics and the car worth of 14.48 lakhs. Ram Khandekar, who has served as an OSD to former Prime Minister Narasimha Rao, died in Nagpur after a prolonged illness. He was 87, sources said here on Wednesday. According to the sources, Khandekar had also worked as the personal secretary of former Maharashtra Chief Minister Y.B. Chauhan. He died at his hometown Nagpur in Maharashtra late Tuesday night, the sources added. Khandekar was invited by Narasimha Rao in 1985 to manage his then constituency time taken in Nagpur. In 1991, when Rao became the Prime Minister of India, Khandika served as his officer on special duty. He was considered a close confidant of Rao and worked with him till the latter's death. Khandika often wrote for sources a score of Marathi newspaper and penned at least 60 to 70 articles for different Diwali editions based on his service period. Here is a good news for Nagpurians. Nagpur Municipal Corporation would be deploying more Apli buses on different routes in the city after initially running 50% of the fleet from Monday, June 7. Following unlocking and easing restrictions imposed to curb COVID-19 spread, the civic body till June 6 plied 120 rate and six electric buses on 25 routes. On the first day of unlocking June 7, the NMC collected Rs 3.32 lakh revenue by running city buses, as the commuters prefer to travel in Apli buses, in increasing numbers after easing of COVID curves. The local body increased the number of Apli buses. In the coming days, NMC plans to operate more buses on different routes for the convenience of the commuters. The NMC has a fleet of over 400 Apple buses, including 150 MIDI, 45 MINI, and 6 electric buses. Finally, the Maharashtra State NCP President Jayant Patil has appointed Pete as the city president of 
National Congress Party, ending speculations after the execution of Anil Ahirkar from the post of city, NCP the Maharashtra state body has handed the baton of the party city unit to Dunishwar Pete. Many names were making round for the coveted post, but Pete became city chief. Now the party is all set for 2022 NMC polls. Pete has been the corporate from last four terms. At present, he is the leader of the party in NMC. Pete had also contested legislative assembly polls in 2014 and was the highest voted candidate among the other NCP candidates. The young and dynamic leader is also associated in many social organizations. NMC general elections in 2022 will be a big challenge for Pete. To strengthen the party position in the Nagpur Municipal Corporation. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sach dikhaye, Nachapai.